Well, a follow up now on a deadly hit and run pedestrian crash in Bridgeport. Loved ones are asking for the community's help to get the victim's body back home to her family. News 12 Connecticut's Marissa Alter reports. This surveillance video shows the last moments of Kamisha Roberts Johnson's life. She's spotlighted in the upper left hand corner crossing Boston Avenue on March 13th. That's when a car hits her and never stops. Bridgeport police say Roberts Johnson was dragged 200 feet and left in the road. She did not deserve to die like that and it breaks my heart. Two and a half weeks later, Roberts Johnson's family still hasn't been able to bury her. Her family would like to bring her remains back home to Jamaica, but cannot afford to do so. So we've put together a GoFundMe page to try and help raise the funds so um, she could have the proper burial back home. Roberts Johnson was a certified nursing assistant who spent the past two years as a live-in aide taking care of a Trumbull woman with Alzheimer's disease. She loved my mom like it was her own mother. Um, just so compassionate, loving. They Michelle, so who asked we not use her last name, said Roberts Johnson sent part of every paycheck home to her mom and siblings in Jamaica. You can't even describe what they're going through right now. She was a daughter, she was a sister, she was a friend. Kaisha, who did not want to be identified, worked with Roberts Johnson and said she had the biggest heart. She gave so much to the people that she cared about. You know, she gave so much, never looking for anything in return. Kaisha and Michelle are hoping that goodwill is now returned by the community. We just want so badly to do right by her and, and get her home. In Trumbull, Marissa Alter, News 12, Connecticut. And we have a link to the fundraising campaign on our website and app. As for the hit and run, no arrests have been made. Police say they are still investigating.